Wagwan, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Clarice here. If you never know, now you know. This and every Tuesday, I will be in the kitchen cooking up something. Guys, go ahead, like, subscribe, and share my channel, guys. I just want to tell all my new subscribers, hey, and thanks and to all my all or my longtime subscriber. Thank you for sticking with me, guys. It's a pleasure to be subscribed to you guys okay so guys i'll be cooking up something today guys and what we're cooking up some what we're going to cook up today guys guys what we're cooking up for today is uh, this fish here it's an headless fish here in jamaica we have this Headless fish. I don't know if in, in other parts of the country as you guys have it, but I guess some of you may have it. And the name of it is Banga Mary. Yes, guys, we're gonna cook up this headless fish, this Banga Mary fish, guys. Watch me, guys. Just watch me. Now, guys, we're cleaning up the fish, guys. We cannot um look up what the fish or cook the fish with the scale. Yes, I have a thing on it named scale, guys. You use a knife and you scrape it. And you clean up also the inside here. Remember, this is an endless fish. It's, it's almost clean up already, guys. And we're going to do fry banga Mary for today. And we're going to serve up this with some leftover rice and peas, sweet potato, and plantain, guys. Yes. I'm just cleaning it up and guys I'm going this I'm gonna cut this into two. Cleaning up the after cleaning up the fish guys, we're gonna rinse with some vinegar. Any vinegar, let's pour the vinegar in there. And just rinse it, guys. It help cut away the rawness. Okay, guys. After rinsing the fish and cleaning up the fish, you're going to get a dry pan, guys. A dry pan. And you're going to use your hand towel. And you're going to dry the fish, guys. It helps with the sticking. It won't stick to the pot. So guys, if you're frying fish, and you notice that the fish is sticking to the pot, this is what you do, guys. You dry the fish. This is a thing that my mama taught me from when I was a small child, to dry the fish. If you having problem guys with fish sticking to the pot, this is one of the methods you can do. Okay guys, I went ahead and I mixed up some powder seasoning. You can mix any powder seasoning of your choice guys. Now we're going to season the, the meat. What we do here, what I like to do is to stuff it in guys. And rub it all over. Rub it in because we want it to soak into the into the, the, the fish. All these parts here, guys, you rub it in like that. So we want it to marinate quickly. Normally, guys, we would do this from overnight. But because we want you guys to see exactly. What I am doing, guys, on camera, I do it like this. So I'm just pushing the seasoning into the fish for it to have taste. I'm not going to add any salt to this, guys, because the seasoning is already salt. What is left? We just dust it over like that. Mm 
in a dry pan. And we'll leave it, guys, to marinate. We're not going to put the tomato, the, the, the seasoning on it yet, the skeleton and the thyme and the tomato. No, we're not going to put that in the, in, on the fish. Not as yet, guys. All right, remember, guys, to wash your hands. Wash your hands with soap. Now we guys, the pot is on the stove. I'm going to pour in the oil guys. Yes, a generous amount guys, because I don't want the fish to stick to the pot bottom. And I, I want the oil to be really, really hot guys. guys I like to clean up some garlic and put it in oil when it is being hot and you have to be careful guys because when you put in the garlic it will get bubbly so you have to step aside like this and put in your garlic because it's hot oil. You don't want it to burn you. Well, that wasn't all that hot. But guys, when you put it in, put it in anything into a hot pot, you have to step aside when you put it in. So I'm putting all this garlic in the pot for it to have flavor. You get that aroma and that nice taste garlic. And everything I use, guys, I ensure I wash. Going in now, guys, with a piece of pepper. Yes. Pepper is very important in fish, guys. You hear that? Okay. While that is getting hot, soon come back. Now that the pot is hot guys, what I'm going to do, use, I'm going to use this egg lister and I'm going to remove I'm going to remove the garlic and the pepper that I put in the pot If this burn too long guys, it will have a bitter taste Alright, I don't want a bitter taste in the fish If the garlic burn too long, it will have a bitter taste Now that the pot is really red hot, now guys, we're going, to have, we're going to put in the fish. And remember guys, we're having hey Guys, it's prime brown stew bangamiri fish. It's brown stew fish, guys. Now guys, pot is really hot, so be careful. That is it guys, you don't want the fish to be touching each other, no, if the fish touch each other guys, when you're turning the fish, it will break, because guess what, maybe that one is fried and that one is not fried, when you're turning the fried one, the one that's not fried, will break, if you understand me guys, so don't avoid them to touch when you put it in the pot. So we're not going to pack up the pot, uh, the, all the fish at once. All right, so we're just going to leave it and we're not going to turn it until the, that one side is properly fried. If you try to move it guys before it is fried, it will break. So we're just going to leave it and let it fry guys. So come back. Now guys, 
the fish is not ready to turn. We're going to use this. When you see the fish turn, move as easy as this, guys. You know, one side is already finished. If you do like this, guys, and it's stuck, that means it's not yet ready to turn. If you try to turn before time, guys, it will break. That beautiful color that it has, guys. Now well, we're gonna leave that now for the other side to fry. Now that the fish is finished, fry, guys. We're gonna take out the fish now. We're gonna put it in a dry container. That one is not ready as yet, guys. So we won't try to take it out. Give this one a little bit more time for it to finish up. When this finish it, it comes out easy. It won't be sticking to the pot. I'm gonna add the rest of it. These are some smaller ones. all right guys now the fish is finished frying it should look like this now guys we're going to saute the, the, the seasoning in the pot the pot is well hot guys so we're just going to put in the, the seasoning quickly the tomato onion and pepper and this guys it's how I do my brown stew fish, not escovite fish, guys. My brown stew fish. I turned on the flame, so let me turn up back the flame, guys, because the pot was really hot. Okay, turn up back the flame. And I put the other a little bit of a seasoning on it, guys. This is the all purpose, just a little bit. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. We're gonna let this season cook up now. Let it fry up. Like that guys. Let it stay there and fry. We've got this brown stew fish. I'm just what I'm gonna do now guys I'm going to add some water see that guys our brown stew fish what I'm going to do now, guys, I'm going to put in the fish. What I'm doing now, I'm just adding the fish and turning the fish in the pot. For it to get all the goodness, yeah. Yes, guys, I'm going to take over the lid, and when we come back, we'll be ready, guys. So, guys, this is the finish brown stew fish, and the fish that we use today, guys, is the Bangamere fish. 
serve it up with some leftover rice guys it's Clarice here guys go ahead like subscribe and share my YouTube channel guys this is so tasty it's so delicious and it was quick simple and easy guys when you have the leftover food you don't throw them out you put them in the refrigerator for them to freeze and when you put them back pop, pop them back in the microwave it will be as good as new that is what i did guys so this rice and peas thanks for watching guys